Hello, Jester Good here, and the new LEGO Batman movie trailer came out today, and it is filled with little Easter eggs and possible characters that will appear in future sets. Let's take a closer look. So the trailer starts out with lots of people praising Batman. Here you can see some new civilian minifigures, the Gotham City News anchor is the first, which has a new hairpiece. However, he is not rumored to be in any set. Also shown here is the new LEGO Baby figure in its first flesh version, which you can see has a little lick of hair. Throughout the crowds, it's evident there's no traditional yellow minifigures here, and that makes sense as Batman is a licensed theme. A neat shot that follows is Wayne Manor from the outside. Again, this is not a set that is rumored at the time, but I can see this possibly being a direct-to-consumer set in the future. The Bat Sub is shown, which I think was in the first trailer, but then the Bat Zeppelin is shown, which I don't remember seeing before, nor do I remember the Bat Kayak. These I can see popping up in sets. Once again, they show some suits. The Reggae Bat is still not rumored for a set or an appearance in the minifigure series, however the Bat Pack is confirmed to appear in the Bat Cave set. Now, my favorite part of the whole trailer is the following scene, which shows the Joker with a whole bunch of villains. And you know, some of these are confirmed for sets. Kite Man in the back appears in the Riddler Racer set, which has not yet been revealed. For those who follow LEGO leaks, there was a LEGO Batman movie collectible minifigure series leak that I cannot show here. It was definitely not the final series, but was a prototype version of such, and three of the figures from that picture show up here. King Tut, Eraser Man, and March Harriet. For figures in sets, Man Bat, Joker, and what seems to be the Penguin appear in this scene. Alas, some figures appear in this image that we're not yet sure if they'll appear in any sets. Crazy Quilt Man, Polka Dot Man, The Mime, Zodiac Master, and somebody with a pink head. Not sure who that is. Of course, next scene relates to the newly revealed Joker Balloon Escape set, and even a reference to Batman v Superman. I hope that Channing Tatum returns to voice Superman in this film. And after that, at the Gotham City Police presentation, the images on that screen look a lot like the style of the leaked CMF picture. Weird. Also, there are some lovely looking fleshy figures of all different tones. I know Popstar CEO on your bricks think this guy is Ethan Hunt. I doubt it, as he has a darker skin tone. However, I want to see that face print on that head color so badly. Of course, the Bruce Wayne shown here is the same version from the Batcave. On to the Batwing scene, which I'm sure will be in the set. What are those things that are on the Batwing? Look closely. Those are gremlins. Thanks to Corona King on Eurobricks for spotting that. What a crazy crossover. Can't wait to see what other non-DC franchises are in this movie. And with a closer look at the scene, Alfred is in Batman garb. Wonder what that's all about. In the final scene of the trailer, Robin is shown in an Arkham Asylum outfit. And Batgirl is seen in a trench coat, which looks adorable and has a new cloth piece. I want that in a set, yo. Anyways, did you guys spot any other Easter eggs in this trailer that I didn't? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.